What's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to another special episode of the Brandon J Show. I'm here with Stella Award winner, <laughs> Grammy Award winner, Mr. Myron Bella. How are you? I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Thank you for being on my show. Most definitely. I appreciate your time. So what we got going on tonight? We are at Fallbrook Church in Houston, Texas yes. for a wonderful thing that they do yearly annually. It's called Christmas in July. Yes. It is a wonderful event where you know, artists come in and they share on a Wednesday night. This is actually the second time I've done it okay. and it's always a pleasure to come and share with them. Absolutely, absolutely. So what songs are you going to be sharing with us tonight? Tonight we're going to be sharing uh, the new single okay. uh, that's called Best Praise okay. and uh, what I think is going to be the follow-up single uh, which I'm praying that uh, it's a song that we'll be singing in churches all across the nation called Let Praises Rise. Okay. And you got to do Set Me Free. I love and Set Me Free. I was going <laughs> to tell you that that's still my jam. Thank you. And we may still. do a little bit of speaking to the atmosphere. So. I love that one. Yes. Uh, that's like the total uh, ultimate worship song. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, much. still. Still. <laughs> it's been a few years. Right? It has. It has. Yes. And, and you know what? I can honestly say that I am thankful yes. that God has given the music that I was blessed to put out, Longevity, and that Absolutely. people still want to hear. And I'm really grateful for that. Absolutely. So what do you like to do in your free time when you're not on the road touring or <laughs> writing for somebody like Tamla Man or Kirk Frank? Right. <laughs> uh, I'm a homebody. Okay. You know, a lot of people okay. will, uh, probably wouldn't know that, uh, but I like movies. You know, yeah. I like the Born Identity series. I mean, okay. the Born Supreme, uh, Born, Born. Uh, the Born uh, series. Okay. So uh, the Godfather, I can watch that all day. I'm a movie buff. You know, I like to you know do water sports, uh, sports and stuff like yeah. that. So it's, do you like to cook? No, I don't have the patience to cook. Okay. Okay. Because you know, fair. I tried it one time, mm -hmm. and by the time I finished, mm -hmm. I didn't even want to eat. Oh, and wow. so at okay. that point, I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm cut out. Okay, okay. So let's talk about your experience at the Potter's House with Bishop yes. Jakes. How yes. awesome is that? I it mean, is the best experience yeah. ever. You know, I counted a privilege to be able to share with one of the premier voices of our time. He's I mean, that. And <laughs> it, is, it, it is a privilege to come yes. week in, week out, yes. and to gain insight on the Word of God uh, through the revelation that God gives him. That's the thing that I'm so honored to do. I'm honored to serve. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to share the gifts that God has given Absolutely. me uh, in one of the churches that I think are at the forefront of ministry today. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And to have that wisdom every week, I mean, you can't every pay for that. week. You know? It is. It's humble. It's kind of like, you know, eating caviar every yeah. time you eat. Yeah. You it's know? surreal. I know it's a surreal feeling. It I'm is. Like, wow. It is. Because, you know, <laughs> before I got to the church, you know, I would drive over on Wednesday nights and get the Bible study tapes just because wow. I was drawn to that word. And so now to have an opportunity to really get it on a weekly basis yes. right there, yes. I'm thankful to God. The word is definitely vital in our lives. Yes. We need it every yes, day. Yes, it I mean, is. We have to stand on it. Every day of yes. our lives, you know, a lot of times the music is great, you know, but the, but what really helps us and what really keeps us is the word. There's a scripture that I love uh, in the Bible says the engrafted word of God is yes. that word that is able to save your soul. And when you think of something grafted, that's, you know, when you have a burn, they graft right. into you. Exactly. And that's what the word has to do. The word has to stick to you. Exactly. It can't just be something that's tickling your ears. Right. It's got to right. be something that really attaches to your spirit. That's true. That's true. Come on, scripture. <laughs> Come on, word of God. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I well, love I it. I appreciate your time. Any and every time. Going. What else do you have coming up? Well, what can we expect from our book? I'd like to tell your listeners that I do have a new book okay. uh, that is coming out. And I'm thankful to kind of venture off into the world of being an author. Uh, yes. book. And that's why I said that earlier. The name of the book is called Born Identity. Okay. And what okay. you do isn't who you are. I like and, that. Yeah. How did you come up with that title? Well, you know, that's something, it's a creed that I've always lived by because, okay. you know, in music and you know, doing things at a high level, you can often get seduced into believing that what you do right. is where your identity comes from. That's identity, true. Identity, purpose, destiny yes. is something that God gave us before the foundations of the world. Yeah. It's internal. It has nothing to do with what happens on the outside exactly. of you. And so it's really a book that I want to take the reader through, okay. understanding that your identity has nothing to do with what you do. What you do changes. It's up and down. That's true. And if you live your life, Attached to that, you live your life on a roller coaster. Right, right. And I don't, I don't think that God has called for us to live like that. True. That's so, very true. That's, that's deep. I mean, you have so much wisdom and knowledge. Thank you. You give people like me hope. You know, I'm, you know I am an artist. Yes, yes. And um, I met you the first time uh, in Dallas for yes, Sunday Best. Sunday Best. I made it to the top 50, but they cut me, but it's all good. It's all good. Because it taught me something. You definitely. know, it definitely gave me growth, the growth yes. that I needed. Yes. Uh, as a singer and as an artist in general. Yes, yes. Because it's definitely good. not easy. You have to look at everything as a lesson. Yes. Everything. And you have to also, this is something my grandmother told me. 
every closed door isn't a curse. That's true. You know, and that is that you're not minimizing or you're not diminishing, you know, what happened, but you realize that everything in life has purpose. Exactly. And God has ordained every open door and every closed door. You better speak. And I, and I really want to, you know, really want to give those words to you Thank and to you. the words of people that are out there that have, you know, had their heart set on one thing and then it didn't happen. Yes, you know, emotionally, you know, we would have wanted it to happen that way. Right. But it does, and I know we hear this so much, but the delay is not denying. It is, and I know, I, 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 I wish those words weren't so familiar because sometimes I think people just kind of blow them off because they heard it so much, so much. But I promise you, God knows the gifts that he's put inside of you. And in due season, if you faint not, he will bring you. Your gift will bring you before great men. Your gift will make room for you. But the thing is, you cannot faint. You cannot faint. Uh, God knows, like I, just like I said, God knows every gift that he has invested in us. And in due time, in due season, he will bring it out. You better preach on the brain of Jesus. Come on. I mean, you're definitely more than a singer. I've been Thank you. Thank I mean, you're just full of knowledge and wisdom. And I just want to thank you for this special time. Thank you so much. It for really means me. a lot to me to have you on the Brand of J Show. Thank you so much. Yes, and how can people find you on social media? On social media, on Instagram, it's Mr. M Butler. On Facebook, it's Myron Butler and Levi. On Twitter, it's Myron Butler. Yes. On Periscope, it's okay. Myron Butler. Snapchat. And Myron Butler. Now I'm on there, okay. but I'm still trying to figure it out and right. understand. I just made one too, like a month ago. So okay, still I don't feel so bad. Still trying to figure it out. But thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. Thank you so much for having God me. God bless you and your family. Yes, sir. And thank, thank you me. so much for tuning in to the Brandon J Show. I'm here with Grammy Award winner, Mr. Myron Butler. Peace and blessings. Please.